Hi, this is John C. Murphy for No Part Dark. In this video, I will discuss how to draw a cartoon monkey using Autodesk Sketchbook. To start with, let's make sure that we all have everything turned on the same. Come up here to Window and just click on Toolbar, then Lagoon, Brush Palette, Layer Editor, and Color Editor. This is the Brushes palette. I normally just stick to the standard brushes. I always open up this little brush resizing tool. Now notice that it opens a new document with a white background. That's controlled from up here under Preferences. The size of the default document that opens is controlled here under the Canvas tab. Now the thing that's really important here is this Enable Rotate Canvas. If that's not checked, when you hit the space bar, which by the way, if you can't remember what the keyboard shortcuts are, generally when you hover over any particular item, it will tell you, and there you go, so it's space bar. That brings up this little thing, and this moves or zooms the, cam the whole canvas itself. When you're drawing, often you want to be able to rotate the canvas as well, just so that it matches the flow of your hand. Uh, that would be enabled here under Rotate Canvas. Now you have to restart the app to do this. All right, there we go. Now notice when you hold down space bar, you have the rotate as an inner circle, as an option on the inner circle. If you want to restore it, it does have sort of a detente at the neutral position, or you can use the brackets to rotate it. Speaking of the keyboard shortcuts, there's some interesting ones that are also worth remembering. I just showed you how to get rotate for the entire canvas. This thing up here is keyboard shortcut V, and that is once you're drawing, once you've drawn something, I'm going to grab a brush here and just draw something. To, it, it's a very common operation that you need to move or resize or rotate that. That you hold down V, and that allows you control over the drawing object itself. That's actually on a per layer basis. It's actually rotating a layer. The next thing to notice is the brushes palette here. There are dozens of different presets available. What is very useful is to be able to rapidly switch back and forth between whatever you're drawing with and the eraser. You'll see that the shortcut for that is keyboard S, and I use that a lot. So whatever the last two that you did, I'm hitting S and it swaps back and forth between them. I find that very useful. Notice the layers palette. This is absolutely essential to any drawing that you're going to do, and you'll see this as we go through this lesson. All right, so let's get started. Usually I would start with a background color. Uh, come over here to the fill tool and just fill the background. Ooh, that's bright. So let's make that invisible for now. Now coming up here, we're going to start with a new layer. As you work through this, you're going to be creating a lot of layers and then merging them down. So you'll see this in action a lot. I'll be adding layers, duplicating, and merging with below continually. Because I'm not a very good artist, I'm going to start with one of these tools up here. I'm going to start with a circle. Whichever tool is selected is what it's going to do. So make sure you're not on the eraser tool. Oh, you know, another thing, I do want to change the size of the canvas. Uh, 720 over 540. All right, starting, we've got our black selected, we've got our pen, now we're going to move over to a circle. So we're going to start out with some shapes. Moving from the center out, you're going to create sort of a head shape, the V tool. So when I draw the next part of the face, I'm, not, I'm going to draw on, draw on a separate layer, simply because if I do this, if I draw circle number two for the four face, and I hit V and try to move it, the whole thing moves. That's not what I want. So backing up, I'm going to create a new layer. I'll later merge these down, of course, but again, V. Move that roughly into position. Now, this is where another reason that layers are really needed. Go to the eraser tool. There's another thing here. If you ever accidentally hit any of these, because these keyboard shortcuts, if you look down here, they're rather common letters, X and Y. Um, and then it, complete, it becomes a complete disaster. You don't know what to do. You get these cross lines and all that nonsense. Uh, you just come up here to click them off to reset those. Um, I never use that, those symmetry tools. So going back to the freehand line, to the eraser now, uh, we can now erase away the parts of the line that we don't want. And if this is too small, you come over here to this neat little doodad and, and uh, resize your tool. Hold down the space bar to zoom in. This allows me to get much more precise control as I'm working here. And notice because I have uh, used different layers, I don't have to worry about accidentally hitting that line. Now I move down to this layer. And I can erase up to that. And again, I don't have to worry about erasing that part. Erase our guidelines back. V and zoom out. In, in cartoons, there always is sort of fur on the back and then skin on the face. So new layer. Actually, we can merge these down. So just go down, merge with below. We're not going to be changing these anymore. Add new layer. Back to the pen. And these again are the shapes, not the eyes, but the shapes that go over the eyes. 
If it looks a little too big, you can resize it. Again, great thing about layers, it's very easy now to duplicate the artwork. Go hit duplicate layer, hold down V, move that over. Now hold down spacebar, zoom in, and we're going back to the eraser. I want this layer, place it back up to there. And this, we're gonna bring over, the, so I can turn the, the canvas and get a little bit better line there. And there we go, now we have the outline for the face. Let's do the ears next, so we can merge these down again. More circles, make sure we have the pen tool selected. Move that up, shrink it down. Gonna have like a little line going through it. Hit S to go back to the eraser, we're gonna erase back. And this is great, I don't have to worry about hitting my other layers there. For eraser, and carefully erase back on the lower layer. Nice. All right, and then a new layer for the other ear. Don't want to put it on the same layer because in case I rotate or anything, I don't want to throw this one off by mistake. Back to this. This is more of an oval V. Position that there. Go back to freehand. Draw a little line out. S to go back to eraser and erase back to the appropriate level. So a new layer. Again, grab our circle tool. The mouth is trickier than you would think because it, if you don't get the approximate shape of the face and get it exactly right, it can look quite disturbing. So rotate, move this, go freehand. Just gonna try to make sure that this is positioned correctly and scaled correctly using the V tool. All right, good enough. Happy with it, merge down. Nose is fairly simple. Rotate the canvas slightly, makes this easier. He's got one hook, then he's got sort of a a, like a birdie shape, and then a line coming into the middle of, the, like that's the bridge of the nose there. Uh, merge down. Now let's do the eyes. This is kind of fun. So we're going to start with the black. Actually, I'm just going to turn this off. This controls the opacity. This slider, so I'm going to bring it down. Just, this is going to be our eyes layer. In this case, let's use a different brush. I want a little bit of flare to the circle. Notice how the, the thickness varies, and that's what we want. On top of that, add another layer. Now we're going to do it in white. So switch to white. We're going to do a white circle, roughly at the center of the circle that we just made. Zoom in. Now in order to fill it, I'm going to have to actually erase this stuff in the lower layer. Actually, no, I can fill right over. What am I saying? Come down to the fill, the paint bucket, white. Make sure we're on the upper layer and it fills fine. Now we can merge these two layers and then create a new layer on top of this. The next thing is the pupil, which is black. Again, take the pen tool, turn on the... I need to see where the bottom is. Uh, let's just fill it. And then V. Okay, good. Another layer on top of that. Go to white. Again, paint bucket, fill this V, move that into position. And now we've got a reasonable looking eye. So merge these down so that we have one unit. Turn that back up, the opacity, turn the yellow off. And then to make a copy, very easy, you just hit duplicate layer, and then back to V again, and move. You want to rotate that a little out. You never want the eyes to be perfectly symmetrical in cartoons. Shrink it slightly, move it over, there you go. Hold down, space bar. All right, now the fun part, the painting. Um, paint tools here are neat. Let's just start with the basic one, which is this one here on the left, the regular fill, the paint fill tool. So select the skin color, uh, make sure you're on the right layer, and then it should work correctly. So if you notice down here, it didn't quite perfectly paint this. So let's hit Command, or yes, Command Z to back up. And let me just show you something that's commonly done when you're painting. Notice I, I call this layer lines, and that's because typically when you do this, you create a layer below the lines layer called fill. What that allows me to use is this other paint tool, the flood fill all visible layers tool, which will respect the lines above, make sure I've got this selected, and paint accordingly. Now, that doesn't seem to have done anything differently. In fact, if anything, it did a worse job because look, it didn't quite get the layers edges quite as good. So but I'm gonna fix that momentarily. What I want to do is to be able to tweak these little details. You grab a brush or the pen tool. Now when I draw, notice that I'm not really affecting the black lines above. Um, coming back up to this layer, then I just want to come back to this fill and fill it again. And that should give me a nice clean edge to my fill. And of course, I want to merge these down. Back up, and it looks like I got a monkey. But wait a minute, we lost something here. Turned off that layer by mistake. Okay, and there you go. That's how to create a cartoon monkey.